Hi, my name is Joe Maley and I'm an engineer with Moog CSA Engineering in Mountain View, California. Today I'll talk to you about the Evolved Expendable Launch Vehicle Secondary Payload Adapter, commonly referred to as ESPA. ESPA was originally developed by CSA Engineering as part of a U.S. Air Force small business contract. Our goal was to more completely utilize launch vehicle capacity. That's the ability of a rocket to deliver payload mass to specific orbits. With the high cost of launches, why not make more complete use of every launch? ESPA has become a family of products that provide opportunities for smaller secondary payloads to share the ride with a primary payload at a low marginal cost. Now, ESPA is an established modular part of the U.S. space infrastructure, forming the basis and structural hub for complete satellite designs, orbital maneuvering vehicles, and more. The first ESPA mission and launch was STP-1 in 2007 aboard an Atlas V rocket. The ESPA standard launch service approach was used to deploy multiple spacecraft into two different low Earth orbits. Another notable mission was NASA's Lunar Crater Observation and Sensing Satellite, or LCROSS. The ESPA ring was used as the primary structure for the LCROSS mission, which impacted the moon in 2009. Currently, ESPA is involved in several missions, including AFRL's Demonstration and Science Experiment, or DSX. In this medium Earth orbit mission, ESPA will serve as the main structure of a free-flying spacecraft. Multiple future missions are well beyond the conceptual stage. We're currently building and delivering ESPA rings for missions on Atlas V and Delta IV, the original EELVs, as well as Falcon 9. The U.S. Air Force has a program called the ESPA Augmented Geostationary Laboratory Experiment, or EAGLE. This is one example of a mission in the works. An ESPA ring will be used as part of this free-flying design with its own integrated propulsion system. In addition, ESPA is a baseline design option for DARPA's F-6 payload concept. In this scenario, a group of small orbiting satellite modules are designed to offer a fractionated alternative to traditional monolithic satellite designs. The creative potential for ESPA mission concepts is quite broad. From secondary satellites to free flyers to communication networks orbiting Mars, the simplicity and modularity of ESPA enables diversity and creativity. Because ESPA can fly on Atlas V, Delta IV, Falcon 9 and Antares, ESPA-based missions have multiple ways to leave the ground. You may not realize this, but multiple ESPAs can be stacked for additional launch capacity on the same launch. In addition, an entire family of derivative ESPA designs are under development to suit a wide range of multiple satellite payloads and orbit configurations. Today, ESPA has a wide customer base and a proven flight legacy with both the U.S. Air Force and NASA. With the additional launch capacity provided by ESPA, customers can minimize total system launch cost with placing small and medium-sized satellites in orbit while at the same time accelerating program schedule. A primary satellite up to 9,000 kilograms attaches to ESPA on a standard 62-inch bolt circle. The small satellite ESPA interfaces are 15-inch ports for payloads up to 180 kilograms, or 24-inch ports for satellites up to 300 kilograms. Accessories such as the ESPA 6U mount, or ESPA SUM, allow for further rideshare opportunities, with CubeSats as tertiary payloads on one or more ESPA ports. Since separation systems are a critical element in many spacecraft architectures, ESPA was designed to accommodate a variety of flight-proven SEP systems. In addition, Moog CSA can provide systems for dispensing small CubeSats 1U, 3U, or 6U configurations. To facilitate the development of rapid alternative architecture configurations, Moog CSA can provide design assistance early in the concept design phase of a program. Moog can also provide a wide range of ESPA compatible subsystems, including solar array drives, flight avionics, propulsion systems, mechanisms, other structures, sun sensors, valves, manifolds, reaction wheels, and other related critical components.